Hello my friends and welcome to Grainificent, the channel about film photography. So in this video I will be showing you how to edit color negative scans in a completely free program that's Darktable. You go to darktable.org, you click here on install and choose whatever system you have and install it and after you're done installing you go to your file wherever it is you right click your file choose open in dark table and when we get the opened image over here we can start from aligning it a little bit and cropping it you could start in the modules menu over here start typing crop and you get the options come up if you don't know what options you want or how they're called here you can just look through the list and let's go into rotate and perspective let's rotate this a little bit so we can straighten it out just like that and now what we will be looking for is a function called negadoctor so you start typing N E G and you get Negadoctor here. So here what you would do is if you know the color, if you took a photo of your scan or your scans have some of the film base on here, you would take this dropper tool here and choose the the negative color so it will deduct it. But if you don't, no worries at all. You could still do everything perfectly fine. So here in the film stock, we will choose color film and when that's chosen you got this power button over here by the negadoctor function you click on it so it lights up and it changes the photo into color of course as you see here now the photo isn't too perfect but we will get that corrected in a second so the first things we could do is on D max you set your brightest spot on the photo something as white as possible like here we got the sky so let's mark it there and for the scan exposure bias we mark the darkest spot possible you could mark a shadow over there let's see what comes out best or black shadow here I guess that came out a bit better and here you see we got too much red because over here we got blue and green and the red is taken up too far up so we go to our red component and we bring this down as you see the red advances towards the left over here and at the same time it gets deducted from our photo so we keep moving to the left over here until the red aligns with approximately like that to the, with the rest of the colors and as you see here we got a bit maybe too much green so we could add the blue because as you see here the blue is moved too far to the left if you want to move it to the right just like red was before we should add so we move the blue right until it meets again with the rest and now our photo is approximately right you could move around with these to see what values you like the most you could play around as much as you want with this but when you're done you could go to this quick access panel over here and in filmic RGB we could add some contrast there just like that and add a bit of exposure remember if you want to add exposure you have to move it to the left because the image is reversed from the negative if you would add exposure you would make the negative brighter that means it would invert to darker colors so if you make the negative darker in inverted terms it makes a better image so as you see here, we like I like how it looks here. And in white balance at the very bottom here, again, it's inverted. So if you add temperature, it turns 
cold blue. If you deduct the temperature, lower it, it turns more warm yellowish. See, if you do too much, it goes completely yellow. So, using this slider here, we'll find what works best for us. And it was a very gray, cloudy day, so you won't, so this photo won't come out perfectly normal. This color won't come out bright colors because the day wasn't like that to add such colors. And when you're done, we could add some bit a bit more contrast here still, just like that. So we could add some saturation. So as you see now, the image is starting to look a lot better. And if you want to delete some dust spots that you have on your image, as you see on this image, you just go research the retouch tool right over here, the retouch function. And you choose a circle and the healing brush. And with your wheel on the mouse, you adjust the size just for it to be about the size of the dust particle. And when you click on it, a new circle appears beside it. That's from where you want to sample the new spot from. And as you see, the dust disappeared. If you want to do another one, you click on the circle again. You choose another dust particle. If it chooses a night, a proper spot, you don't have to correct that. If you want to turn them off, you just click on here on this show and edit shapes on the current scale. And with that off, the circles disappear. And as you see, the dust particles disappear as well. So that's how you can delete all the dust particles from your photo. And when you're done retouching your photo and doing everything you want with it, on the left hand side here, under export, you could choose where you want to save your file over here, what quality you want to save it at, what file format you want to save it at, and you click export and it will be saved to that location. If you have any questions, write them down in the comments below and I will be sure to answer them. And if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel to see more film related videos. So take care my friends and see you in the next video. Thank you.